What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. Guys, drag racing, it's red hot right now. Super red hot. I released the video of the new Traxxas Drag Slash a while back. And golly, that thing, man, there's a lot, a lot of opinions on that thing. I personally think it's awesome. It, look at it. Just, just look at it. I mean, look at this thing. Look at how clean it is. There was a big drag race that I missed the other day. It was this, the DE Racing Super Chips race. It was actually really close to me. I ended up not going to it because I wanted to get some track time. I, it's been raining like crazy over here. They're doing a lot of track rebuilds, a lot of series races and things are coming in town. And I knew that if I didn't get any track time in, I wasn't going to get track time at all for a while. So I opted to do that. But I want to drag race so bad. I have some good ideas on trying to make this thing hook up even better than I did when I first drove it. I did find out because of the comments on the last uh, the last video wherever I released this thing that you are only supposed to run 2S. So I got to do some passes on 2S. And then also, there was a lot of opinions of people saying it wasn't worth it or it just it cost too much. Guys, does it really cost too much? There we go. We got it in the sun. So think about the cost, right? Everyone says you can build it cheaper if you just build it yourself. You get a slash, slash is 200 bucks. I mean, the body and tires alone is another 150. The brushless system is another 150. That's already 500 bucks. And that doesn't include the awesome transmission and the wheelie bar. So I, I call BS on the people who said you can build this thing cheaper. This thing is, I mean, it's awesome right out of the box. But with that said, we're gonna build our own anyways. Proline released a whole bunch of tra drag stuff for the Traxxas Slash, and we are gonna build a Proline Traxxas Drag Slash today. I say today, it's actually gonna be probably a span of a couple of days because it might be a lot of stuff. Maybe I can do it all in one day, but let's check out, let's go in full Leonard mode and check out what we're about to put on a stock slash. All right, let's go through here and find the car that we are gonna convert into the Drag Slash. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna convert my Spec Slash to Drag Slash because I like my Spec Slash, I still run it. We are going to convert that beast and there's a reason why and it's not just because this was the first slash that I've ever owned. Let's move it on over here. There we go. It's not just because it's the first slash I ever owned. This is actually the first local hobby shop I ever went to uh, via my hobbies. <laughs> that place is already closed. But look what I already put on this thing. Boom! The Traxxas LCG kit. So the LCG kit it's not expensive. It's only like 40 bucks or I think it retails for 40 bucks, 39.99. But you need to put this. This is basically the chassis that's on the drag slash. So you're going to need to put that on your spec slash. This one already has it. So we already did that part. See, I didn't even factor that into the cost. So again, the drag slash retails for 500 bucks. Yeah, there's no way you can build it for cheaper than 500 bucks. Anyways, we're going to use this thing. Oh, look, this is looks a little broken up front. See this little piece down there? You can kind of see it. Um, anyways, we're going to use this thing to convert to the Proline drag slash. Let's go inside and see the Proline parts we're about to put on this thing. All right, back in the office. Before we go in full lean art mode, I'm going to show you the body that I'm going to run. I'm going to run this beautiful, beautiful body. Um, it looks just like, so I watched the show Street Outlaw. It's on Discovery. It looks just like Murder Nova, but this is a 69 Chevy Nova. And it already came painted, it's black, it's like a flat black, which is really cool. So all I do is put stickers, cut it and put stickers on it. So we're gonna run this body. I do have another body for it. However, it's at my painter right now. He's doing a really cool paint job on it. I'm really excited to show it. But in this particular case, we're gonna run the Nova body for now. I also realized that my slash will need some extra parts. So I can't get all of it done today, uh, but you guys won't have to wait. But I still need, I'm, I'm gonna get the shorter. I'm gonna do the narrow the narrow chassis or the narrow wheel set. So basically you need bandit front and rear arms. There's gonna be a little bit of learning curve on this. I did watch some of the uh, like basically no prep drag slash build videos. And I think I know what I'm doing, but again, this is uncharted waters. I'm new to drag racing, but I, I mean, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So let's go into showing you guys what the other things that I got from Proline to make this drag slash. All right, here we are in full Leonard mode. If you don't know who Leonard is, he's a, he's a, oh man, look, I spilt my oil. He's a Pokemon YouTuber that I watch and he does this with the kind of the first person view of looking at stuff, which is really cool. Anyways, let's go right into what I'm putting on this drag slash. First and foremost, bam, these beauties. Oh man, look how good those look. The Proline Prospect shocks. 
So one thing I like about these, look, there's like etching in the side, like laser etched, proline in the side. Like I can't, you can kind of see it. Look at how, oh, it's little details like that that make these shocks so freaking cool. They're little, or things like these so cool. So I do have the big bores on my car right now. They call them big bores, but they're not really big bores. They're the Traxxas aluminum shocks. We're taking those off. We're gonna put the Proline ones on there. This is a Proline drag slash, so we gotta do that. You got different options, tuning options in there, different pistons, things like that. I don't know what oil it comes with. If I had to guess, it's probably gonna be like 30 weight, but if we gotta change oil, no big deal. Pro spec shocks look super cool. Front, rear, all right, moving on. Next, we have the Proline Pro Series 32 pitch transmission. Uh, 32 pitch is the pitch of the gear, so it looks like it's a little bit bigger gear. Now, this transmission is, a, it's, I think it's all steel internals. Let's see on the back. Yep, heavy duty steel internals for maximum durability. Also, it's got a fully tunable oil filled, fillable gear differential. So, that sounds pretty standard, but I believe on these stock tracks is slash that gear, that little gear, the div thing is, is not, it's not fillable. You can put oil, like really thick grease in there and it will kind of stay, um, but it will leak out because I don't think it's sealed. This one is sealed. Comes with a cool clear case. I just squeak, I totally squeak. Anyways, very cool transmission. Putting the Proline transmission in there. Up next, we have the tires. So, I kind of I kind of semi messed up on the tires. So here are the rear tires. I have the rear reaction. These are belted drag racing wheels or wheels tires. They're not the fat daddies, and they don't say Hoosier on the side. So kind of messed up there. I should have got the ones that say Hoosier on the side. The front say Hoosier on the side, which looks really cool. But these are small cosmetic things. We can make this work out. They do look pretty cool. But when the fat daddies come in, I'll get them. The wheels we're gonna mount them on are these beauties. The Pomona drag wheels. This is for the rear. This is for the, the slash. So the offset is for a slash. So it's going to be rear on here. And then on the front, these are like really skinny wheels. We got the wheels there. Oh, those look pretty sweet. I'm pretty stoked about that. All right, moving these aside. And then the last thing we are going to mount on this car is we need a wheelie bar. So here is your wheelie bar. Looks like it comes with another wheel in there. I don't think that wheel is a different size, but nonetheless we have a wheelie bar there's a part number i will put part numbers in description or at least links in the description for all this stuff down below so this should pretty much be everything i need from a hop up or upgrades perspective i do need uh the the arms from a bandit so today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mount the wheels and tires cut the body make it all pretty i can go to the traxxas store tomorrow pick up all the bandit pieces and then finish this thing up but man, this thing is gonna turn out so cool. Man, I'm stoked. Holy crap, guys, she's done. Look, the iPad is out of battery. I've got tools everywhere. It's about midnight here. She's finally complete. She looks so good. Let's see if I can get some. Oh man. Who so the hardest part, honestly? I'll I'll finish this vlog out tomorrow when I'm energized and I can go through the car, but it took me a while to get the body <laughs> What is that? I need to clean that off. It took me a while to get the body mounted nice and uh, where I wanted it to be. But I did run out and do some test hits, some late night test hits. Oh, she's solid. She's going in a straight line. I think we need to play with the suspension a little bit, but this is what we're going to learn about drag racing. All right, guys, I'm going to get some sleep tomorrow morning. I will go over the build. I did have to add some parts to it and I learned some things, but oh man, this thing is freaking awesome. All right. So here she is, guys. Oh man, that was a late night last night. I did not think it was going to take me that long to build, but here it is. A couple things that I've noticed about the build. So whenever you go and like start looking up how to build a drag slash, you have an option to build it narrow or wide. So some people don't put the banded arms on it. They'll just put the slash arms on it. It doesn't look, doesn't look as scale. Like look at how scale and cool this thing looks. This is the narrow wheelbase. So basically the wheels are in a little bit more. Looks so good with the narrow wheelbase. This turned out a lot cooler than I thought it would. I'm not gonna, <laughs> this is freaking awesome. The body is gloss black. I thought it was matte black, but it was because it had that plastic finish. 
It still looks good, gloss black, but there's still scratches on it already. I did some test hits last night. I did flip it one time, which kind of sucks. So with the whole narrow conversation, the to build this, to answer the, the question that everyone wants to know, is it is it cheaper to build or buy? It is definitely cheaper to buy. To build this setup, I have a link to all the parts that I use in the description below. It's at a parts list, and that parts list will tell you the total. And it's over $600 for that parts list. Even if you take the Proline shocks off, which I didn't run the Proline shocks on this one, I'll tell you why in a second. Um, it's still over $500, and that's without the car. Without the car, just the conversion to get it to this state, it's gonna cost that much. So it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna be cheaper to build it, that's for sure. If I were to build it, I would definitely build it starting with a bandit, not a slash. That way you don't have to buy the all, all the arms and stuff. That will save you about, about 50 bucks. So definitely if you decide to build a, a, a drag slash and you don't want to buy one, it's gonna be it's gonna cost more, but start with a bandit, just be a little bit easier. So the caster blocks were something that confused the crap out of me because I've watched a whole bunch of videos on how to build a drag slash, and I kept seeing people running into a problem with the caster blocks. I could not figure it out. You go look at them, they look exactly the same. They're both 30 degree caster blocks between the Slash and the Bandit. Um, but basically people were changing out. They were saying that the Slash caster blocks wouldn't work with the Bandit arms. And I actually figured it out. The hinge pin hole is a different size. So you do need the caster blocks. It's a cheap piece, but you, th you would think you could reuse that, but you can't. So the Bandit caster blocks are different than the Slash caster blocks. So you will need to get the caster blocks for this build. I said last night that I had a problem with the body mounting, so I tried to use the stock body post to mount it, mount this body. They're they're too high. Like no matter how you put them, it's too high. Especially the front the front body posts were way too high for the um, for the body. They wouldn't go low enough for the car to look normal. So I tried all different types of things. I found some different body posts to go on here. I could not get any of like the Traxxas body posts to work on this body. So. You probably, if you wait for the drag slash parts to come out, which drag slash parts aren't out yet, you could probably use that. Um, but I use the Pro Line body posts, and it has a little. It's not. It doesn't use actual body clips. It has these little these little nuts that you put on there. I I have that. I added it to the list of parts that you need. So yes, you will need those body posts to mount these bodies. So overall, I'm really happy I did the build. I think I'm gonna convert my bandit after i do a review on the bandit to another drag car because i got another really cool drag car body coming i got it i can't wait to show you guys my painter already sent it to me i can't wait to show you how awesome that body is but super cool i'm gonna do some suspension tuning on this thing the transmission the transmission is freaking awesome like i i'm so pleased with the transmission uh i think it's a great traxxas upgrade if you want to do the pro line transmission it's it's really freaking cool I don't know when they're gonna release or if they're gonna release that drag slash transmission so you maybe you can just bolt it right up. But right now, if you were to build a drag slash, I highly recommend you get the Proline transmission. It's super freaking cool. And it uses a bigger pitch, so it's gonna be able to handle more torque. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.